Hey, shalom to the nation of Yad and to all the viewers who are tuning in as well. This is um, Yah, Yazikwa, Caleb Israel, Yale Yah at this time. This is Yah News, um, bringing to you this breaking news at this time. Yes, uh, so I got a call, but the big breaking news I'm going to bring is about the Sabbath day and the feast. But I got some information. My brother called me out of Washington, D.C. and was telling me something is going on down at the, um, at the Navy Yard. He said it was a shooting down there. He said nine people got killed, twelve people got wounded. He said he believed that it was um, one of the military uh, officers got demoted, and that must have escalated the event from that point. So, brother and sister, so that's on uh, just on uh, the, uh, the briefing I give to you on that, on the short little information I have on that from the wire. So, brothers, so, so let me get into the real message, because, brothers, this might be alarming to you. you this might bring some of you into disbelief. I'm talking to the Hebrew people at this time, because many events are going to go on in, in, in this world, brothers and sisters. That's a fact, for sure. But we must trust in the Abiyah always, our family. So I'm here to share with you some, um, some prophecies of Yah. Some things, judgment that came for the appointed feast days, the Sabbaths. Because there's a quite a few things you must know. Because when you look into the scripture, you see how Abiyah uh, instituted the Sabbath and the feast days. You can, you, you can read that in um, Leviticus chapter 23, how to keep the feast. Yes, and so. When the Hebrews were walking up right with Yah, they was keeping the feast perfectly. But it came a time, brothers and sisters, they went astray from Yah. And we're going to read these things. And Yah sent prophets to warn them first, and then later to, to pronounce the curse upon them, the, the judgment, the decision of Yah. I'm telling you now. This is what you can hear me say. We are we're in our cap we're in captivity at this moment. And we have no Sabbath to keep at this time and no feast days to keep. All the feasts I'm talking about, including the Sabbath day, brothers and sisters. So I'm about to share this information with you so you can understand it then, because these things gotta be explained to you. Because you'll find the laws in there telling you how to keep the Sabbath. And we should keep this from all generation. But I stopped it because for, for a time period, not always, but for a time period, because he put us out of the land. And all of these feasts you're going to see, every last one of them, brothers and sisters, I'm talking about, they got statutes, which is detailed instruction on how to keep the feast. Detailed instructions. They got to be carried out in detail, like a person detailing the car. If you break it at one point, you break the whole law. Then it's going to come down to you to, is you going to obey Yah. Brothers and sisters, it's so much going on at this time. So many changes taking place with us because we've been lied to. We have falsified leads. We have people that didn't understand who they are. They didn't understand the time frame. We are in today. They, you know, many of our people did not understand we was under that curse. Majority of us just learned that we are Hebrew people. And we learned about the laws to a degree. The feast days. Brother and sister. So what I'm about to share with you very important. I'm going to start as always a Moshe to show you the judgment that came upon the northern tribe first, then Yada. We all were put out of that land, brothers and sisters. I mean, I don't play around. You can see that. Everything must be kept perfectly the way I'll be out tell us to keep it. Every law must be followed. Every statute must be followed. Every instruction of Yah must be obeyed. Or we sin, brother and, and, and sisters. 
So I know people have questions, so what must I do? It's instructions to tell us what we must do at this time. One is we must confess the sins of our ancestors, confess our sins. We are in a state of mourning because we can't keep the feast. You can see all of this from the prophets. All of this is in the prophets. Even back to the time when this is going to be reinstated. The altar sacrifice is going to be skilled, skilled. I don't say I don't like to do the um, sacrifice, but the altar offering is going to be reinstated when the altar be rededicated, when the third temple be built. The Zadok priest, the, the priest of the son of Zadok, is going to be installed as priest again. They're going to have to re, uh, be rededicated to Yah. So they're going to make offerings after the altar be rededicated to Yah. Then they're going to make their offerings. Then we're going to have to be rededicated to Yah. Yes. By animal offerings, brother and sister. Believe it or not, I know we, many people because uh, they brought forth a Messiah, even the priest is going to present that offering. The atonement offering, yes, the atonement will be taking place when the third temple be built, when the altar of Yah be rebuilt. Even I've got show Ezekiel this in a vision. Then he said, show this to the children of Israel, Yah, the designs of this new temple that's going to be built. All of this is going to be known to our people. All our people have, at that time going to have this knowledge. The ones that are going to rebuild the third temple are going to have that knowledge. Um, Y'all are going to take a seat there forever. Brother and sister, all of this has never been done before. So let's get into Emoja chapter 5, verse 20. This is a very important video at this time, brothers and sisters. And it reads, I'm reading this from the Living Bible, paraphrase translation by the public company Tyndale at this time. And it reads, it said, Yes, that will be a dark and hopeless day for you. See, going over the punishment, if you read all of this, I'm giving you certain uh, uh, um, scriptures at this time, but read all of it. He let them know, he bring it forth and uh, announcing the curses upon them because they rebelled against Yah. He said, yes, that will be a dark and hopeless day for you. I hate your show and pretense, your hypocrisy of honoring me with your feast and solemn assembly. See, the solemn assembly, the feast. He said, I will not accept your burnt offerings and thanks offerings. He said, I will not look at your offerings of peace. He said, away with your hymns of praise. They are mere noise to my ears. I will not listen to your music, no matter how lovely it is. He said, I want to see a mighty flood of justice, a torrent of doing righteousness. He said, you offered to me for 40 years while you were in the desert, Israel, but always your real interest has been in your heathen gods, your Elohims, and the Sukkoth, your king, the Sakuf, your king, and the Kawan, your El, which is your God of the stars. See, the star gods people have. These were the interests of Yah said of the people that kept, kept rebelling against Yah. Now keep reading. And in all the images of them you made. So I will send them into captivity with you. Far to the east of Damascus, says Yah. The Barah, who is the creator of hosts, 
brothers and sisters. This is what he was saying, and this is the opening up, brothers and sisters, right here. Because right here, in this other translation, in our 21st verse of chapter 5 of Amos, in the book called the Scripture, it reads, I have, I, I have hated, I despise your feasts, I am not pleased with your assemblies. You see that? These are the things I hate, brothers and sisters. As we go to Hosea chapter 9, I'm, I'm starting off with you to show you The Hebrew people start sinning and offering all kind of unclean animals on the altar. Lame animals with all kind of defects. But well, obviously all the being that the perfect ones did. But they kept doing the opposite, brothers and sisters. As I go to Hosea, y'all brothers and sisters at this time. And I, and, and I like to say Toda Yah for the brother that brought this information out and brought it to my attention. And he pointed these things out. I wasn't aware of these things. I was aware about the feast, but I wasn't aware of the Sabbath as well. Because all the feast days and all the, and the regular Sabbaths, you must bring an offering to Yah. Brother and, and sister, I'm going to cover that. If I have a time to. So let me get the whole show, y'all. Chapter 9 is very important. Everything must be done in detail, brothers and sisters, with dealing with uh, y'all. Y'all be on point. In chapter 9, the whole show, y'all. In verse 1 it reads, It says, O Israel, Yah, rejoice no more as others do, for you have deserted your Barah and offered to other Elohims on every trashing floor. He said, Therefore, your harvest will be small and your grapes will blight upon the vine. He said, You may no longer stay here. In this land of Barak. See, I was about to put him out. He said, you will be carried off to Egypt and Assyria. This was the judgment that came down on the northern tribe first. They're going to be carried off to Egypt and Assyria. And live there on scraps of food. And they're far from home. And you are not allowed to pour out wine for offerings to Barah. For no offerings that is offered there can be please him, can please him. It is polluted. You see that? Just as the food of mourners is. All who eat such offerings are defiled. They may, and they may eat this food to feed themselves, but may not offer it to Barah. Who's the creator? What then shall you do on the Kodesh days? On the days of the feast of Yah? When you are carried off to a serve as slaves, who will inherit your possessions left behind? Egypt will. She will gather your dead. Memphis will bury them. And thorns and thistle will grow up among the ruins. The time of Israel's punishment has come. The day of recompense is almost here, and so Israel, Israel will know it all too well. The prophets are crazy. The inspired men are mad. Yes, so they mock. For the nation is weighed with sin and show only hatred for those who love the rock. You see that, brothers? He said, I appointed the prophets to God my people, but the people have blocked them at every turn and probably declared their hatred. 
even in the temple of Yah, the things my people do are as depraved as what they did in Gibeah. Long ago, Yah does not forget. He will surely punish them. You see that, brothers and sisters? And verse 17 reads, the same chapter, it says, May Barah, my Barah will destroy the people of Israel because they will not listen or obey. They will be wondering Yahoo beings homeless among the nations. This is what he said about Israel, y'all. They're going to be wondrous. And you see that many of our people at this time of the northern tribe are, are wondrous over there in, in the east. Brothers and sisters, these are the words of Yah. So let me go to Numbers. I'm going to go to Numbers chapter 28. And now we're going to cover the law of the, of the seventh day, brothers. So that's very important. You must have this knowledge concerning the law of Yah. We're going to deal with the seventh. I got more property to show you, but I, will show, I wanted to share with you at the time to show you how the northern tribe got put out first. And all of y'all stopped their feast. You're going to see more. Numbers. Let me get the numbers at this time. Let me try to speed it up a little bit for the second time. Number 28, verse 1. Let me get into it. It said, Y'all gave Mo Moshe these instructions to give to the people of Israel, y'all. The offerings which you burnt on the altar for me are my food and are a pleasant, it is, it is, and are a pleasure to me. So see to it that they are brought regularly and are offered as offer as I have instructed you. I'm going to go to the other translation real quick, brothers and sisters. Numbers. I'm going to know, I'm reading this from the book of Strong's at this time. This is the one I was studying out, so I said, I'm going to go back to the one I was studying out of at this time. It's right here. It's saying, Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, Command the children of Yedriel, Yah, you shall say to them, Take heed to bring my offerings, my food for my offerings, made by fire as a sweet fragrance to me at their appointed time. He said, you shall say to them, this is, this is the offering made by fire, which you bring, Yah. Two male lambs, keep this in mind, two male lambs, a year old, perfect ones, belly, a continuous ascending offering. So this is the regular belly offerings throughout the whole calendar cycle, over and over, throughout the whole continuum, that's the regular one. It said, one lamb you prepare in the morning, the other lamb you prepare between the evenings. With one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour. Keep that in mind. So with one-tenth of an ephah, it's very important to understand that of fine flour, this is the regular offering, a, the deli offering, as a grain offering mixed with one-fourth of a hint of pressed oil. A continuous Ascending offering, which was offered at Mount Sinai for sweet fragrance, and an offering made by fire to Yah. And it drink offerings, one fourth of a hen for each lamb. Pour out the drink to Yah as an offering in the set apart place. Verse 8 And the other lamb you prepare between the evenings. As a morning grain offering and a drink offerings, so the offering come with a drink offering, and saying you prepare it as an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yah. Now it's getting to the seventh day, the, the weekly Sabbath. Verse nine. Listen carefully. Now it's talking through the regular 
offering for the weekly, the everyday offering, the regular offerings. So keep in mind, with the offering of the, uh, of the two lambs, is one tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a grain offering mixed with one fourth of a hint of pressed oil. That's the regular, the, the daily offering. Verse 9 reads, in chapter 28 of Numbers, and on the seventh day, two lambs, a year old, perfect ones, and two tenth of an ephah of fine flour as grain offering. So you get that? On the regular offering, uh, the everyday offering is one tenth. But when it's on the seventh day, other than the uh, regular offerings, it's a seventh-day offering of two lambs on the seventh. This is law. It said uh, two tenths of an ephah of fine flour as a grain. So that distinguishes the regular right there by itself from the seventh day. Two tenths of an ephah. A fine flour as a grain offering, mixed with oil, with it drink offering, the sending offerings for every Sabbath. See, this is sent for every Sabbath. Beside the continual ascend offering with it drink. See, that's additional to the regular Sabbath. I mean, excuse me, that's additional to the uh, regular everyday offerings. But the distinction between the two is the right off is one tenth of an ephah of fine flour. The seventh is two tenths of an ephah of, of fine flour. Beside the, the continuous the sin off with a drink offering. So so this is what we must do, brothers and sisters. And we're not doing this. And you can't, you can't uh, keep this because we have no altar to bring our offerings to. And we don't have no priest at this time. So all of this in mind, if we have no priest, how do y'all say you can remove the priest? So let me go to uh, the fine to show you something right here. So this is the condition we must be in. I'm going to find y'all to show you the prophecies that we should be at. We, we all should be doing at this time when we walk in the orders of Yah. Yes, this got to be explained to you. Yes, this had to be pointed out to me because I was keeping the uh, uh, Sabbath but partially, but it was wrong. I wasn't obeying uh, our laws. So I said, told all y'all to the brother, you know who you are, Micaiah, Tiskin New. I will remember you for the things you've done. Because this must be passed around to all our brothers. This is urgent. This should be more of the urgent why we got to leave this land. We got things to do, brother and sister. We are unclean unto y'all. We had a temple to be built. We had a confession to be made before y'all. A lot of things we must do, brothers and sisters. We don't even have a seven at this time. Because it's no way possible that you can keep the seven because we got no priest. The priest got to be dedicated. First, the altar got to be dedicated. I'm going to give you that scripture. When you read Ezekiel, I'm going to give it to you now. Ezekiel chapter 40, 40 to 48. Read all of the chapters. that tell you about the, the third temple. How are y'all going to be there? How the reinstitution, brothers and sisters, of that, at that time, how they be dedicated by the animal sin offerings and the peace offerings. All this got to be a, a, a real tone. The priest got to be rededicated to Yah. The altar got to be rededicated because remember, the last day of the, off, of the altar, it was defiled. 
by the priest to the day it's still defiled. That's why the altar got to be rebuilt and rededicated to Yah. The priest was defiled. So when all y'all restate the Zadok priest, uh, the son of Zadok, the priest, they got to be rededicated. Ever since that time, the nation has been defiled. So we got to be rededicated to Yah. The king got to be rededicated. The whole family got to be rededicated because we're all in a state of uncleanness. At this time. But it's no right to sin. That's just dealing with the feast I'm talking about. David, that beside all, uh, we got to keep the, um, we, can, we can do not steal, do not um, fornicate. But I'm just dealing with you, I'm just talking about all the point of days been shut down. We got no seven at this time, brother and sister, because we cannot keep the, the law. I just show you the law, man. Go read and rehearse it, brother and sisters. You got to know what time we are. And let me read this right here, real quick. Sophia chapter 3, verse 18 is right here. Let me get there. We all read it together. Let me find my place, brother and sister, right here. He said, I shall gather those who who grieve about the appointed, the appointed time. What are the appointed times? The appointed times we put together the yard together is on the Sabbath, the new moons, and all the feast days, brothers and sisters. And bring the offerings, yes, to be offered on, to be offered on the altar, yes. And I just showed you, without a shadow of a doubt, I should have put, oh, okay, let me go back, because I didn't show you without a shot of a doubt. So let me go back to the numbers real quick. Excuse me, my bad. It's right here for all to see at this time. Let me go, let me get, get right here. It's in numbers 28, in verse 9, right here, and it reads, and on the seventh day two lambs a year old perfect ones and two tests of the ephah of the fire flower as a grain offering see not sacrifice but grain offering mixed with oil with it Drink offerings in the final place. Oh, so I'm having a mix with the drink offerings, the sending offerings for every Sabbath. You see that? Besides. The, the continuous ascending offerings with it drink offerings. That's it right there, brothers. That's every Sabbath. That's how you keep the Sabbath. With resting on the Sabbath, you, pre you present the offering to Yah on the Sabbath. That's the law, that's the law of Yah and how we keep the Sabbath. So let's go back to here. So far, y'all, chapter 3 and verse 18. Reads, I should gather those who grieve about the appointed time who are among you to whom it is reproach is a, a burden. You get that. To see about the appointed feast, you go to Leviticus chapter 23, take by all the appointed times of Yah. Let me go there real quick. These are the things we got to know, brothers and sisters. It's right here. Leviticus. Leviticus. Chapter 23 reads, I'm going to start off with one. And Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, 
speak to the children of Israel, Yah, and say to them the appointed times of Yah, which you are to proclaim as set apart gatherings. My appointed times are these. Then we're going on at six days. Work shall be done, but the, the seventh day is the seventh of rest. I'm going to cut it off right there, brothers and sisters. So you got that. So from that point, I'm going to go to uh, Isaiah, back to Isaiah chapter 1. Brother and sister, I'm going to try to make this brief as possible as I can. Isaiah chapter, no, excuse me, excuse me, family. Isaiah, it is something of one, but let me check one out real quick. But I'm going to go to uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 14 at this time. Sort of in chapter one, my wife is telling me about, but uh, I'm not going to deal with that right now, but I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1 to 7 at this time. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1 to 7. And it reads, Because Yah has compassion on Yaakov and shall again choose. Let me read it right here without scanning it. Shall choose Israel and give them rest in their own land. And the strangers shall join them and they shall cling to the house of Yaakov. And the people should take them and bring them to their own place. And the house of Israel shall possess them for serves and female serves in the land of Yah. And they shall make captives of their captors and rulers over their oppressors. And it should be in the day of Yah gives you rest from your sorrows and from your troubles and the hard service in which you were made to serve that you should take up this proverb against the sovereign of Bethel and say how the oppressor has ceased and the gold gathers ceased. Yah has broken the, broken the staff of the raw scepter of rulers. He who struck the people in wrath with ceaseless blows and he who rules the nations in displeasure is persecuted. And no one restrains. All the earth is at rest and at peace, and they shall break forth into singing. Brother and sister, so keep that in mind. We are in an oppressed situation at this time, but when you go to Ezekiel, brothers and sisters, it, it, it tells us from 42 to 48. I should read a little bit out before you, because it tells you so much. They tell you about the third temple. That haven't been done yet. We done yet. We go got to go back, brothers and sisters, and rebuild this uh, third temple. And all of this rededication got to take place. The all the atonement, brothers and sisters, got to be done step by step, just like the way all y'all said, it, brothers, they're gonna be carried out. Nothing gonna miss his beat, brothers and sisters. These are the words of y'all. Nothing. Gonna be out of line. So, if you please read this, read uh, the whole 42 chapter, or the 40th chapter, all the way to the 48th chapter, brothers and sisters. It's so wonderful, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to read in the 44th chapter of Ezekiel. I'm going to read a little bit. 44th chapter and verse 4. Saying, and he brought me by the way of the north gate to the front of the house. And I looked and saw the esteem of Yah fill the house of Yah. And I fell on my face 
And Yah said to me, Son of man, set your heart and see with your eyes and hear with your ears all that I say to you concerning all the laws of the house of Yah and all its Torah and you shall set your heart to the entrance of the house with all the cities of the set apart place. So keep that in mind right there, brother and sister. And so right here, verse 6. As shall say to the rebellious, the rebellious to the house of Yael Yah, thus said Yah, said the master, Yah, O house of Israel, Yah, enough of all those abominations of yours. Keep that in mind. See, this is going to be said to you in that daytime, brothers and sisters. Let me read seven. Verse seven, right here. Let me get it. That you brought in the sons of a foreigners uncircumcised in the heart and uncircumcised in flesh to be 